Good Wednesday morning, everybody. August 31st, 2016. We're back on the set. It's not a newsroom day. Mm -mm. It's a talking Fitchburg. Booyah. Normal day. Booyah <laughs> day. <laughs> Booyah. Good morning, everybody. Jeremy Crosby alongside Preston, the main management, and Andrew Bamlett. Hi. Or as we call senior director of the show. S senior director. Senior mm. director. I don't know. I, maybe we don't. I, Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Mainly Bamlet, I guess, really yeah. is the, yeah. at least yeah. I do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We, you, you call him something that we can't say on the right. air. That's right. <laughs> we'll keep that quiet. <laughs> yeah, keep, that, keep it on the down low. On yep. the down low. <laughs> maybe check Facebook later. Maybe it'll come out. Uh-oh. I won't post that up there. <laughs> I want to keep that page and also my job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I do not blame you. Uh, well, nothing like derailing the uh, show hey, right away. Hey, hey, there hey we Andrew, go. welcome back. Glad hey, to have hello. you back here, here. and uh, glad to be back on set. Uh, although, I love the newsroom feel. Like, it's do you feel great. good up there doing I, it? I did. I, yeah. you know, I. You get a podium. You get a podium. You I, get to stand. You get to stand. You get yeah. to watch me. Good posture. Yeah. Yesterday came. You know, we were setting up for it, and mm -hmm. Preston's like, "Yeah, you, know, you don't need me necessarily to be there." Yeah. And I was like, "But." Why not? Yeah, he's true. like Andrew did it by himself. I'm, I'm like, I'm a loner. Well, I'm, I'm a lone special. Wolf. That's right. I'm special. I'm like, I need somebody to talk to. Maybe Off I'm camera. special. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. But then I was having a really hard time getting through it right out of the gate. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody saw the newsroom and it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was exactly perfect. Yeah. Wink. <laughs> <Dink. laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like that set uh, when you can. So that's a reminder here that. Uh, if we can't be on the set here, which is going to happen from time to time, it will. Uh, because we are only a staff of five for Fact TV, so uh, if something happens, we'll switch over to the newsroom mm -hmm. set, and you know we'll replay the day before's piece right here on the television part. But on the Facebook side, we'll post up still. We'll do a daily headline just like right. we do every day. So mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to say when that's going to happen. We can't really tell you, but we still want to get the headlines out yeah. there every day. So. And I just updated the website, our website, yeah. with the Talking Fitchburg page now. Sweet. And that's got that info. Well, it's got some of the information on there. I probably should put the newsroom. We're going to get all kinds of information up there, so be looking yes. for that yeah. in the future. Watching. I'm working on it. It's work, yep. work in progress. So Indeed. There you go. Uh, well, uh, busy show today. Uh, yes. It's all back to school theme the rest of the week now. Woo! Hey! Uh, Preston's already back in school. I am. But now the little How'd kiddos. Yeah. It's going. It happened. I animated some words on Monday. Going back today. Animated some words, huh? Yeah, I made nice. them do. We so we took some verbs and made them do things that so you know you jump and you make it go whoop, do a little jump, just nice. a little basic thing. Little basic thing. We're getting in there. First there day. He's been colleged. Look That's out. That's right. Look out. Look out. Uh, yeah. So kiddos going back. Uh, Starting tomorrow, so uh, mm -hmm. watch out for uh, yes. for everything that's happening tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and parents just around the world Rejoice. <laughs> threw up their Woo! ads. And, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll uh, we've themed the shows the next couple of days to be covering different aspects of going back to school. Uh, we reached out to three school districts. Um, we have three school districts in Fitchburg, obviously. If you don't know that, you now know Verona, Madison, Oregon. Uh, we reached out to all of them to see if they wanted to be on the show. Uh, Verona did respond back, so uh, Sweet. today we're going to give you Verona Area School District Superintendent Dean Gorell and his uh, kind of perspective of like their it. upcoming school year. So uh, it's a two-part episode today of that. So oh man! So the next two segments after headlines are both that interview. You betcha! Right on. And then tomorrow on the digest, we're going to talk to you about a warning about uh, school shipments and whatnot okay. coming in. And uh, also, we have an interview with the uh, police department tomorrow, and they'll give you some heads up that they're going to be out watching, yeah, making very sure good. nothing happens those tomorrow. New bus, those new bus rules and all yep. that. Yeah. So, so watch out. lots of things coming up. We'll keep you all updated on that. But first, we do got to get through headlines this morning. Let's do it. And we start off with uh, the follow-up uh, on, uh, ooh, hold on. Not the follow-up. But Jer yeah. Jeremy's got to get on Wednesday scripts. It's okay. Hey, the sort neighborhood of debriefing of a follow-up of... Uh, the uh, house uh, explosion that had occurred last Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this is the latest that we've got here this morning. Uh, Fitchburg, uh, the city of Fitchburg will be hosting the house explosion debriefing on uh, Thursday night, September 1st. That's tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. in the council chambers. Uh, they've are, I've been told that they've sent out letters, emails mm -hmm. to residents uh, in the affected area, but uh, this is open to the community, but space is limited. Right. Uh, so we're going to be broadcasting it live on both our Gov channel and our Com channel. Yep. Uh, so you can check it out there. You can check it out live, streaming live. Um, 
we'll have you fully covered. But basically, we want the city wants to give you an update on uh, what's going on, yeah. uh, your chance to ask questions uh, from this. This is not a you know this is an unusual event that right. occurred in the city right. that affected a lot of people here. So. Uh, they want to make sure that uh, they're talking to residents. So you have police, fire, uh, public works, and uh, city officials, and uh, your uh, council uh, as well will right. be there on hand. So a uh, good chance to ask questions and get up-to-date information on uh, what's going on. So again, Indeed. tomorrow night, check it out. And again, if you can't make it here, don't worry. We'll be broadcasting that live. That's right. All right, and then sticking kind of on the same subject, uh, there's going to be a gathering uh, at Tower Hill. So this is organizing support for those who are affected by this explosion. Uh, this will be on Saturday, 7th, uh, September 7th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at the Tower Hill Park uh, Shelter, which is on Florin Drive in Fitchburg. Uh, so if you want to show some support, you can uh, head on out to this gathering and support the people that were affected by this uh, unique uh, explosion that happened. Don't yeah. know what else to say about that. Well, but, like yeah. you said, it, it again, it's one of those things that it it expands, you know, that whole neighborhood and right. it, and then uh, you know throughout that area. So it's uh, you know it's a good chance to come out, do a you know, show your support uh, and help uh, help the residents in the yeah. area neighborhood uh, sticking together. So I think this is a cool event, uh, and we'll uh, we'll be out there covering that one and bring you the latest uh, as it's happening. Indeed. So there you go. All right, uh, we switch over now to uh, voting information. Who doesn't like a good voting information? Love it. Love yeah. voting information. How about absentee voting information? Here we go. In-person absentee voting hours have just been announced from the city. So I've been pushing the city clerk to get me this info. Okay. And then she released it. Here it is. In-person absentee voting hours are uh, run through uh, no for the November 8th election. Excuse me. Uh, located right here at City Hall, 5520 Lacey Road. Dates and times, October 3rd through the 7th, October 10th through the 14th, October 17th through the 21st, uh, 8 a.m. to 4, th uh, 30 p.m. And then uh, on October 24th through the 28th, you have 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, so they'll extend those hours. And then October 29th, it's a Saturday, you have 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for your absentee voting. October 31st uh, through November 3rd, it'll be 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you can see these times start to increase as it, it wider, goes down. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, November 4th, you got 8 a.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. If you have any questions, contact the clerk's office, 270-4200. Those ladies up there, they're fantastic, and they'll get you all the info you need. They have it all. They have all the answers. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, road closure alert. No. Da, 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 da. We let you know about this uh, yesterday as well, but just to recap here, King James Way Road uh, closure is going to be happening. They, MG and E and KS Energy have a 12-inch steel gas pipe that they're going to be uh, crossing King James Way at Anton Drive. King James Way will be closed to traffic on August 31st, so that's today, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., the closure from KPEC Road to Anton Drive. So uh, traffic will use KPEC Road as a detour. Uh, Madison Metro has been notified uh, by the contractor for the bus detour, and all other owners affected by the street closure will also be notified. So you can see here on our map, there's two little red lines at either end of the road there. That's where the closures are at, so avoid that area. Thank yeah, you. and this is all in prep for the Verona Road construction that will be happening. And uh, here we go. We got your information. I told you about this on Friday uh, when we showed you the video from the from uh, DOT. But right. uh, this is your next reminder. They press released it yesterday. The next con stage of construction for the Verona Road project starts September 6th. September 6th. That's uh, next week already. It is. Scary stuff. Access to will remain open to area businesses and neighborhoods during the construction. The next uh, construction stage of the Verona Road project will start on Tuesday, as I said, in Roseways in Fitchburg in advance of the expansion to the Verona Road and Raymond Road south to PD. This fall reconstruction will occur in the following locations. Verona Road from Fitch, uh, Fitchburg, or Fitch Rona Road to Williamsburg Way. Nesbitt between County uh, PD and Limestone Lane. Williamsburg to Anton Drive intersections west of Verona Road. And the East uh, Frontage Road between Williamsburg Way and Chalet Gardens Road. For the full of details information, stick with us right here. Check out the DOT's project, Verona Road, or the Verona Road Business Coalition for all your updates. Verona Road Business Coalition is working very hard right now to get uh, all this info out, not only to businesses, but to residents to remind you that those businesses are still open.
Very good. I'm going to very quickly tell you about these last two events that are going to be happening at Apple Garden. Hit it. So on September 3rd, 4th, and 5th, the Friends of the Fitchburg Senior Center are going to be down at the uh, Apple Garden serving ice cream. The ice cream is free, but you can make a donation to the Senior Center Friends. They'd appreciate that. That helps them do all kinds of activities that they wouldn't be able to do without that support. So support them there. Then also Sunday, September 11th at Apple Garden is Grandparents Day, and the Senior Center Friends will be there again running a snack stand uh, as a fundraiser as well. So if you're looking to get down to the Apple Garden, make it one of those weekends and help support the Senior Center. Yeah, proceeds from the Grandparents Day, uh, half of the proceeds from the snack sales go to the Senior Center. There you go. Friends. All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Coming up next, we sit down with the superintendent of the Vernon Area School District and talk about the upcoming school year next. Talking Pittsburgh.